morning. Oh, you're not convincing Donna him there, does. then. Uh, Donna feels fantastic. There's a few bum faces down here. We're trying to weed them out. Yeah. Stan, yeah. OK, with, let's with have a look around the room. Smash. smash. With extreme prejudice, please. Axe and Axe smash. And smash. What does that lead to, Stan? Demolition. Exactly <laughs> right, mate. Uh, welcome to The Big Breakfast. It's Monday the 4th of December. This is, of course, Denise Van Outen. Thank here. you very much. Smiling yeah. on your dial every morning of the working week. <laughs> Denise Van Outen. Yeah, what, what's the deal with this, Denise? This is a very interesting Do you like my new jumper? Yeah. I think it's very exciting. It's a very yeah. soft, feels like a double Apply cashmere feels lovely. Okay, uh, here's what's still to come on this morning's show, I think. In a couple of minutes, you can lie back as we feed you the very best tidbits from this morning's papers in the paper review of Pundit. Now, uh, the weekend papers were quite weak. They went with those Daniela Westbrook stories in both the Mirror and the News of the World, which, if that's the biggest story in Britain today, frankly, you know, what's going on? What a guan. Uh, Denise, what's happening at 8.20? At 8.20, I'm going to be very, very excited, I'll tell you, because we meet the pop icon icons who were so good, they named them twice. The legendary Duran Duran. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Duran, and here, ladies and gentlemen. On the bed. The Are you jealous? Have you got them on the bed today? On the bed, yes. On the bed. You love that, don't you? Mm. At 8.30, Denise will be raising temperatures. Also in the kitchen with more nude, nude, glorious food. Ooh. Oh, yes. yes. I need to get out of this wet clue. OK, and as if that wasn't enough nudity for one morning, I gather Richard Bacon's up in Newcastle to create a distinctly clothes-free Christmas cake. Now, Donna, I understand she's very near your home. Well, he's not. Near where he, his hotel was near my house, but he's not near me now. But he's in Walker, I believe. Hi, everybody. Thank you very I'm much, really Donna, for that sick. very vague Do description. I want to go home. Can I go home? I want to go home. You want to go home? Yeah, I have to Thank you very much, Don. I'm sure the viewers are saying what? the same thing. I don't want to go home because this is my home. Exactly right. Uh, and, and someone who's... I was born and raised here. ...home is in front of an auto queue reading us the news is Jasmine Lewis. Yeah. Good morning. These are the main stories on Monday the 4th of December. Christmas travel derailed, fines for pavement plodders, and can you dig Bob the Builder? You've probably got more chance catching Santa's sleigh than a train this Christmas. Rail companies who released their holiday timetables today warn passengers face delays and overcrowding. Only 70% of normal services will operate. What's really been hit in the last few weeks are the long-distance services to and from London and in other parts of the country. And learning that the West Coast Main Line and the East Coast are going to be hit badly, that means it is going to affect a lot of people trying to get home. Police will today retrace the final steps of the murdered schoolboy Damalola Taylor in the hope that someone may come forward with crucial information. Damalola was stabbed to death on a housing estate in Peckham a week ago. Police are to be given powers to sweep anyone under 16 off the streets between the hours of 9pm and 6am. But police say they lack the manpower to enforce the curfew. Dawdling on London's Oxford Street could cost you a £10 fine. A new campaign known as Operation Tugboat aims to reduce aggressive behaviour or pavement rage by dividing it into a fast and a slow lane. We've already been assaulted and in some cases insulted with this year's sack of Christmas singles. Now Bob the Builder has weighed in with his catchy tune, Can We Fix It? But can Bob get to the top? Here's the sport. Chelsea beat Manchester City yesterday, their first Premiership win since October. Zola was on the mark to give the Blues the lead. Hasselbank made it 2-0 before the break. Dickov's late consolation goal gave City some hope, but Chelsea clung on for the three points. In cricket, England have drawn the second test with Pakistan. The umpires once again handed in for captain Nasser Hussain. He was dismissed, caught out when the ball only glanced his pad. England hung on to draw the match. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house for the weather. Thanks very much, Jasmine Lowson.